It's a heart-stopping video. Four young men take a big gamble and make big news. This would-be robber picked the wrong group to mess with. They decided to fight back. They're pumping gas into their vehicle. A black Sonata pulls up close to them. What happens next is terrifying. And it's all caught on surveillance cameras. As the young men hang outside their car, they have no idea that a man is coming straight towards them. And he has a gun. Suddenly, they are in the middle of a robbery. He's asking them to give up whatever they have. One guy puts his hands up. The gunman tackles him. Physically, he starts to jostle him. And then his friends start to attack the man with the gun. It's an all-out brawl. Then, out of nowhere, a second man appears. He's trying to push off the victims off of his friend. A wrestle ensues. Uh, they get the armed subject down on the ground. We have young men attempting to disarm this armed robber. Then, something almost impossible happens. The gun falls to the ground. Victims are able to pick up the gun and point it back at them. It's total chaos. The assailants retreat to their car. And even though their gun is now pointed right back at them, they're not giving up. We don't know what's going to happen next. But then, the robbers get into their car and take off. We got to attempt the robbery. So are you an employee there? No, I'm not. They pulled up on us with a gun, and we took their gun. Take a deep breath for me. In the confusion, he isn't even sure if everyone is safe. Did they get you? Did they shoot you? Well, okay. Take a deep breath for me. Did they have a weapon, you said? Yes, we have the weapon. Okay. The person who had that gun when they threatened you. Did they threaten us? They put up with a gun. Is there anybody injured? Anybody need an ambulance? Does anybody need an ambulance? You don't need an ambulance. No? No. It was scary, though. I understand that. Just stay right on the line with me, OK? I can remember my heart was still pounding hard up like three hours later. We were just in shock. It was really surreal. It turns out that the boys are all related. But what started as a fun night of partying... We were celebrating my cousin's 21st birthday. ...has turned into an absolute nightmare. Two men have just tried to rob them. They don't know if they're coming back. And when they turn their attention to the gun that's now on the ground, they are horrified. Is it loaded? Is it bullets in it? It's got magazine and bullets in it, bro. He could have died. Just leave it right where it is. Stay on the phone with me and stay away from it, OK? Surveillance cameras capturing the moments that the men turn the tables on the gunmen. When four young men fight back against the robbers who attack them at a Florida gas station, the video immediately goes viral. When I woke up, I had over 100 DMs. It was just so insane that I couldn't handle it. It all begins on Saturday, March 23rd, 2019, when they drive two hours to Miami from Fort Lauderdale. Brothers Alex and Eric, who are from Indiana, are in Florida hanging out with their cousins, Jacob and Alec, who are also brothers. And that night, they get a late start. We're going to this club, and uh, we can't go until midnight because my brother, he's not 21 until midnight. Stayed for a couple hours, had like a really good time. About 3 a.m. is when we left the club. Started heading back to Fort Lauderdale. And that's when we got the low gas signal on the car. They pull into a gas station just after 3.30 AM. Three of them step out to get some air while they fill up. I was asleep in the back of the car. I had no idea what was going on. At first, 
none of them have any idea that someone is trying to rob them. I don't see the gun until my cousin Alec actually puts his hands up. He sticks the gun to my little brother's rib cage. It's like, just defend, you know, yourself and your family. I would grab for the gun, and he yanks it away. I actually put my arm around the guy's neck. I got out of the car. The whole thing had already started to unfold by the time I had woken up. But as soon as Eric does realize what's happening, he has only one focus. My whole thing was to get the gun out of his hand. We didn't know if the gun was loaded or not. I was waiting for a gunshot to go off. Our lives were definitely in danger. They are in a fight for their lives, and none of them are prepared to fend off yet another attacker. At this point, we're not thinking, oh, there's a second guy. We have to look out for him. I was like, oh, no, like there's a second one. He just came, swarmed, and pushed everybody off. When I stood up, I had no energy left. It's Eric who finally manages to rip the gun away from their attackers. And when he does, he's stunned. It was just crazy. The robbers seem every bit as shocked as they are. They're begging for their gun to give us a gun back. But then the robbers suddenly drive off, and Jacob dials 911, panicked that they are going to come back. I still don't know how it all worked out for us the way it did. But the police arrive quickly. First thing the police said to us is, you guys are crazy. You don't go after somebody with a loaded gun. I was a loaded 9 millimeter. We would have had a quadruple homicide. Four dead young men. They just got very, very lucky that uh, nobody got hurt on this. The cousins know how lucky they are. It was more scary to kind of look back and have that, you know, 2020 hindsight of, you know, maybe we should have just put our hands up and not done what we did. Still, two of them, the brothers from Indiana, are actually licensed to carry concealed guns. I do have experience with handguns and other types of guns. We've gone through the necessary classes to learn how to defend ourselves. We just felt like if we could get control of the situation, we would not have anyone get hurt. And even in the midst of all the struggling and confusion, police say they were quick on their feet. I saw the license plate and remembered the numbers on the license plate. Now, they did a good job as far as uh, getting descriptions of the uh, two subjects, the vehicle description along with the tag. The getaway driver, 33-year-old Kevin Campbell, is arrested just hours after the incident. And with the media's help, Police soon find the gunman as well. And the registered owner of the vehicle called in. The getaway driver was her boyfriend. And the actual subject who she saw on TV attempting to rob these four young men was her brother. 31-year-old Travis Jones is arrested two days later. Both men face charges that include attempted robbery with a firearm and are awaiting trial. At a news conference, Alec, who turned 21 just hours before the attempted robbery, admits that he was terrified. It didn't seem real. And I'm just kind of put my hands up because I was like, I didn't want any issues. And even though his brother and cousins say they were fighting for their lives and each other, they are all relieved that it turned out the way it did. 